Okay, so let's add the functionality for deleting the extra scores, which means that you can limit the amount of scores that will be saved in the database. Um, we need to create a new function, so just make a new function on the on the bottom here called private void delete extra scores. So. Um, this uh, function here is going to delete the extra scores, but we need a variable to tell how many scores we want to save. So in the top of your script, you'll need to create a new variable and just make a public integer and call it uh, save scores. Okay, so let's go to the function down here. And down here we need to make an if statement so if our save count is less or equal to the score dot count high score high scores dot count okay so if the amount of scores we want to save is less than the amount of scores we have saved well then we need to delete some scores so the amount of scores to delete is an int variable here um, delete count is equal to scores uh, that count. Let's see a high scores that count minus save scores. So this delete count is going to be equal to the amount of scores we will delete because we take the amount of scores we have saved minus the amount of scores that we want to save. Um, then we want to reverse it because we only want to delete the lowest scores. We don't want to take the top 10. For example, if, if I have 20 scores and we want to delete 10 scores, then we will take the bottom 10, not the top 10. So to make it easier, we can simply just say high scores dot reverse. And high scores reverse simply just reverses the order of everything. So the lowest score will be in the top of the, of the high score list. So we can take them from the top and remove them. Um, up here, we will also need to write get scores so that we get the newest score. So every time we try or when we try to delete something, then we of course try to delete it from the newest list of scores we have in the database. Um, we can also go to the delete score function here and copy the content of it and paste it down here uh, inside the if st statement after we have reversed it. Because basically, we need to do the same thing. We need to delete something, and we already have the functionality for it. So, why not? Uh, why not use it? Um, we will need to make a if statement in here, a for loop in here. This is for, and it's going to run as many times as our delete count. So we can simply just use the delete count here, and then we need to move all this inside the for loop, so that we except the close, of course, we need to have the close outside the for loop. And then we need to delete every single entry in our um, get scores list or in our high score list. So we can say delete from high scores where the player ID is equal to, and it should simply just be equal to high scores I. So we are running through our reversed high score list. And we are using the delete count to figure out we need to delete 10 scores, for example, because we had 20 scores. Now we only want to save 10 of them in the database. We're running through everything uh, with the delete count. And we're simply going to use the high scores and then the index here to delete something. So number zero on the high score list is the last score. And number one is the uh, previous score to the last and so on. So in that way, we can actually delete the extra scores here. So let's try to save and go to the top. And in here, we can simply delete this. And we can say delete extra scores. Oh, not delete score, but delete extra scores. There we go. And save. So let's see if we play our game. Let's say we just play it now. We have 19 scores. So let's say we only want to save the top 10. Down here, we say we want to save the top 10 scores. 
So we play the game. And we have 19 scores still. So it didn't work. Let's see. Did I remember to save? And it still shows more. So let's see what's wrong here. I actually think I forgot to give it the ID. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm just saying high scores. I, I forgot to say dot ID, of course, because we can't just delete everything like that. We, of course, need to get the correct ID from uh, the high score list. So let's try to save this and jump back into Unity. Let's play again. And boom, now we only have the top 10. So we say, set save score 10. And even if I would say that we should save 20 scores, well, then the 10 last scores has been deleted. But we are able to save 20 scores now. So now we just deleted the, the last, the, the top 10 here. Or oh, we didn't delete the top 10, we, we deleted the bottom 10, that's what I want to say. Um, we might also want to make sure that we can, um, we, 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 we can't insert any new scores if, if, for example, our save count is 10 and we have 10 scores and we don't want to put in an 11th score if that's our maximum, if 10 is our maximum. So we need to add some functionality to our insert score here as well. Um, because we also need to make sure that if let's say the last place in our, in our high score rank list is we have 10 ranks and the last place has 10 score, then someone scores 11. Well, then we need to replace the last score with that 11. So then, so the last guy gets uh, kicked out of the high score list. Um, because we only want to save those top 10 scores, for example. So in here, in the insert score, we need to call get scores to get the newest updated high score list. We need to say if our high scores that count is larger than zero. So if we have stored some high scores, well, then we need to say high score equal lowest score. Uh, not equal, uh, sorry, I'm in, like high score, lowest score. We are defining it right here. Equals uh, high scores, dot scores, dot count. High scores, dot count, minus one. So this basically gets the last score on the high score list because we take our count and minus with one because if we have 10 scores, then our count is 10, but the index of the last score is nine. So we have to say minus one to get that count, get that index. So this is the lowest score we have. And when we have that, we have to say, if our lowest score isn't null. So if the lowest score exists, well, then we're going to say, and our save count, save scores, um, is larger than zero. So if we have decided that we want to save, save more than zero and our high scores that count, it's larger or equal to the save scores. Well, then we would like to delete a specific score. We want to delete score. Lowest score dot ID. So basically, if we want to save a score and our high score count is larger than zero, then we need to check what the lowest score is. Then we're checking, well, did we find the lowest score? We did. Is the save um, scores amount larger than zero? Yes. Is the high score that count, the amount of scores we can save, it is larger or equal to save scores? And then we also need to check, of course, if our our lowest score is, uh, let's do it like this. If our new score, can I get it now? New score is larger than our um, lowest score dot score. So if our new score we want to insert is larger than the lowest score we have, and all these others are, are are correct. So if we, we don't have more room in our high score list, 
our new score is our new score is higher than the low score well then we need to delete the low score and then we also need to insert the new score of course and the new score of course only needs to be inserted if there is room in the list so around this insert part here we will need to make an if statement it says if our high scores dot count is less than the save scores and then we simply has to move all this into our um, our if statement so let's try to save this and test it out in unity okay so let's try to run a test in unity i'm going to clear the high score by going to the high score in my sqlite manager and clean empty table yes now the table is empty if i run this there's nothing in it and then i'm going to go back to unity i'm going to go in here and make sure that in my start function i have something called insert score test and he has 300 points and then i'm going to say that we want to store top five so let's try to run it's one score two and three and four and then the last one five so now we have five scores so if i run the game again it shouldn't show up with six scores and it doesn't okay so let's try to save a higher amount um, of, of scores let's try to save something like 500 instead <clears throat> and if i do this then it should knock out the bottom one and replace it let's try to see okay so as you can see here there is a mistake because right now it doesn't show the one that we want to insert it just shows four instead of five so we deleted one without inserting a new one and when we run the game again, it actually inserts the new one. We have test with 500 points. So this one was left out when we had a full high score. And the reason that it's left out is because that we are not checking up on the high score count correctly. Because the high score count here and the amount of save scores should change when you delete something. Because if I delete a score, then the high score count is still higher than the save scores. So I'm going to make a new variable here, integer. Um, a just count and it's equal to high score dot count um, so the problem is let's say we have five high scores and the count is five then we delete one and the count is still five so when you get to this if statement the save scores is still not larger than the high score count because we never changed the high score count after we deleted something. So here we have to say hs count minus minus to we deduct one. Then we're going to use the high score count here. Okay. So let's try to store a thousand points. Now it should show up right away. One with a thousand points in the top of the score here. So we have a thousand then let's see. There we go. So now we have 1,000 points, 500, and two 300s. And we can also put something in between the 5 and the 3, and then delete the lowest 3. Uh, let's say 350. 350. Save. Let's try to run it again. And then we have 350, and we knocked out the lowest one. So that is all the base functionality for this high score list now you can insert uh, delete and get scores out and everything um, in the next part of the tutorial we are going to create the enter name ui element so that the player can enter his name in the game i'm going to implement it so that the score is a random number between um, for example 100 and 1000 or 0 and 1000 for example um, you of course need to implement it so that when you're done playing your game the score that the player earned needs to be punched in as the high score. 